Hey folks, welcome back. Today we will talk about opportunity costs. So by definition, opportunity cost is the value of the next best alternative. So when you make a decision, how do you know that that decision is the best decision? And when making a decision, what are you giving up uh, with other decisions? You can look at things such as activities, uh, goods you have consumed, or services you have consumed, or even occupation uh, in this sense. Let's look at the latter, occupation. Let's say you have the choice between two types of occupations. One we can call nursing. Now, nurses today, let's say, can make up to $50 per hour, or you have another occupation where you could look at being a DJ. DJs, let's say, can make $25 per hour. And now we wanna know what is your opportunity cost in choosing one or the other. So to make things simple, we can use a formula called opportunity cost, and it is simply gonna be the OC opportunity cost as a function of what you will sacrifice over what you will gain. Let's say you choose becoming a DJ because it takes a lot less in school, it is much more accessible, and so let's say you are looking at becoming a DJ and you're going to give up on becoming a nurse. So what you will sacrifice is becoming a nurse. And you could potentially be making $50 per hour as a nurse. And what you are gaining is being a DJ on weekends at night, earning $25 per hour. When we divide 50 over 25, we get $2 per hour. So if you choose in becoming a DJ, for every hour you work, you are giving up $2 had you become a nurse. But is that enough though to make people choose in becoming a nurse or becoming a different occupation? Uh, is, it, is it enough? And so now we need to know exactly how we can use opportunity costs in more of a satisfaction environment. Uh, now we can look at, again, a simple way to, way to do that using a scale from one to 10. And let's say the scale of one to 10 will represent the satisfaction you, you, you get in one of these occupations. We can then say one represents least satisfied in that occupation, and 10 can represent most satisfied in that occupation. Let's say for nurses. As a nurse, you may not really like the sight of hospital beds or sick patients or even blood. So let's say that your satisfaction on a scale of one to 10 is five out of 10. It's not the least, it's not the most, but it's, been, it's, in, it's in between your satisfaction. Whereas a DJ, because you enjoy the nightlife, you enjoy the music, you enjoy meeting people, you have a greater sense of satisfaction. Let's say nine out of 10. So again, we can now plug in what we have, what you will sacrifice over what you will gain. And by doing so, we have five over nine, which gives us 0.56 when you round off to the nearest hundreds. Now what this says is for every unit you gain as a DJ, you could be gaining 0.56 as a nurse. But again, is this enough to make someone decide to stick to DJing or to switch careers and become a nurse? So now we have two numbers we can use. We have $2 and we have 0.56. If we were to multiply $2 times 0.56, this gives us 1.12. 
And this is how we know if it is worth becoming a DJ or if it is worth in switching your occupation and becoming a nurse. Any number that is greater than one tells us that it's a good time to switch your career now for the other career. In other words, 1.112 tells us that the amount of money you lose as a nurse outweighs the satisfaction you get as a DJ. So based on 1.112, it might be best for you to switch careers, uh, enroll in nursing school, and hit the books, become a nurse. If you have a number that is less than one, it would make sense to stick with DJing as a career.